this. This is what got me to finally determine that, uh, yes, I went from a never Trumper in 2015 to saying, absolutely, absolutely take my vote. This is what makes Trump. Are you okay? Are you guys okay? Oh, okay, take your time, yeah. Take your time, doctor, any doctor, please? Doctor in the house, thank you. Are you okay? You take your time, darling. Now, this is during a, uh, a rally where he's supposed to be getting everybody uh, riled up and, and cheering and excited, and he just stops the entire thing. Now what? He steps aside, and he stays over there for quite a long time. Wait. So I'm just going to speed up the part until he gets back there. So that this woman can get medical care. And doesn't speak to the crowd because he wants an American taken care of. He wants an American taken care of. Take your time, Doc. We have time. Some people waited here for two days. It's uh, tough. It's tough. Thank you. Plenty of time. That's good. Biden wouldn't do this. He don't care. He wouldn't be able to notice. But even if he did. He's more concerned about the American citizen than he is about speaking. He's more concerned about the American citizen than he is about speaking. I, I, I don't know what else to show you. This is the only option. Still checking in on it. Now, it might only be a couple minutes, literally two minutes, but I don't know if you've ever been in, in front of a crowd or on a live stream or on a radio broadcast, but dead air is stressful. To just be standing there, knowing that there's thousands of people looking at you, cameras that are going to be broadcast all over the world. And what do you care about? The American people. Take my vote, please.